Hey guys, what's going on? It's Canadian off for 4 before again. I'm back. It's been a long two, probably maybe three months actually already. It's been very busy for me. Detail's been busy. Tacos had some upgrades recently. And if you're wondering how I'm standing above like six feet, well, Taco got sliders. Let's check out these sliders that I'm standing on right now because these things are amazing. All right guys, so Taco has been upgraded a lot and i mean a lot <laughs> a lot of things have been changing on this truck the last couple months just because i've been running around and driving around and well about a month ago or so already i went to absford bc where arc one industries is and i got some sliders and picked up also a high clearance bumper which you will have to see in the other video take a look at these bad boys oh i absolutely love these things so actually, I got to put them to the test recently. I uh, decided to climb on some cars and well, I've, I just had to get some carnage on them. I mean, I actually probably wasn't gonna put them to use anytime soon, but I guess I got lucky and it worked out where I got to scrape them along the side of a hood. <laughs> I mean, it was very well worth it. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. So what I have here is fill plates, and sliders and these are just painted black because these i bought off of a buddy that had them on his access cab but he gave me first dibs so this is what i've got so i just painted them black with some uh, rust-oleum flat black because i mean it's just generic paint and whatnot i'm not expecting them to hold up by all means but you know it's easy to touch up and i'm not going to be caring too much i mean they're there for the abuse and to protect my truck and that's all it's going to meant for i'm not looking to make these pretty I mean, why the hell should i <laughs> i'm not going to waste my time and money on this so the whole point of this video was to show you guys the install give you some tips and tricks and then also just to show you an install video because i mean michael is very 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 busy in life and I mean he's just constantly busting his butt over there so when I came down I thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to make some content for my channel but also make content for him so he can also maybe use this as a link or a reference for other people that may need to get some insight that being said I did not do a whole video I did video time-lapsing uh, because it was just a lot easier to deal with and it wasn't back and forth with cameras because we were on a tight schedule I mean, it ended up being a later time than we wanted, <laughs> and that was a very long day in drive. I mean, I was up for 36 hours on that day, so that that really sucked. But uh, anyways, like I said, these were bought used. I mean, sliders are sliders. I mean, it's not like they're going to be dis, uh, decreased in value or something. I mean, I got a good price on them. Got them dropped off at Michael's. They're fill-in plates with kick out, and I believe these are 18 degrees. I mean, because, yeah, zero degrees would be flat, uh, so these are 18 degrees. There's two options available. And then there is a manual out there for this, and Michael is perfect with manuals. He gets pictures, he describes everything. Being that my frame didn't have to do the recall, but I got the plugs done, I apparently was the very first one for Michael to see that there was plugs on the back of the frame and some other spots that he didn't expect. So. Have a friend, buy him a case of beer, whatever, bring a case of beer, buy some pizza, get a friend there. I mean, it's pretty straightforward to install the sliders, guys. Uh, this video is for reference and to help you if necessary, or at least you got somewhere else to comment because if, say, Michael's a little too busy and you can't get any support, well, at least you can go to this video and comment and I'll see the notification and I can help you out as much as I can there. I'm always willing to help anyone out that is installing these or even in general. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and the time lapsing. I'm going to describe it as much as I can and give you guys as much background info as I can. And that will be it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, guys. So to get started with your sliders, the first thing you got to do this, make sure it's washed completely and, you know, dirt free. I mean, as you can see here, Michael's blowing out a lot of dirt around the rails and stuff like that because you want everything nice and clean so nothing will interfere with your install because you're gonna want some clamps there so when you because this is a complete no drilling or anything like that or welding you know it's completely bolt in and done that's how it's made because he wants to he wanted to design them like factory sliders so that's his intended purpose therefore it's gonna be the cleanest install you will ever have so you will make sure you want to have clamps with your install here so that you can make sure everything's nice and snug against the frame rails 
and that everything stays secure and it's snug because I mean if you plan on abusing these then you obviously want to make sure they are installed as strong and tight as possible without obviously ruining your threads. You see here, we're just getting uh, underway here by clamping uh, each bracket that gets attached around the frame rails there. So like I said, keeping it nice and snug all around. I'm helping as a second hand here, cause I mean, Michael, like he's the one that makes them. So he's pretty quick with installing them. It took us two hours, two and a half to do these. Uh, the, the We started with the passenger side cause actually it's a lot easier to do that one as a learning curve first. And then when you go to the driver's side, then you'll uh, have a little bit more to do but not dramatically by all means so obviously because there's a gas tank and there's a lot more wiring as well there so, um, I will post up pictures throughout the install there to show you guys frame holes because with mine I had the plug kit done I didn't have the frame recall done or anything I just got the plugs and Michael actually was quite surprised to see them on my truck so but yeah I mean it was pretty smooth sailing for the passenger side so now we're just doing it on the driver's side now um, like I said the biggest thing is just having a clamp there otherwise Michael's manual and instructions and pictures are pretty much on point for everything. Like I said, I was just the second hand to helping putting the 70 pound sliders on. And yes, so 140 pounds is added to this truck. And at the same time, I did notice a big difference in braking distance and I didn't know, I guess not, well yeah, no, power was definitely a little bit more noticeable, but yes, so these sliders definitely changed my driving habits quite a bit. Cause I mean, within two minutes of driving, I had to like lay on my brakes and yeah, it didn't feel like it wanted to stop. It was kind of scary. But a um, couple of tips and tricks. Obviously, it's kind of just generic, but have a jacks down on either side like you've seen what we have here because it just makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to lift up as high from your uh, body on up there So because you just bench press it up and... I mean, for 70 pounds between two guys like that, it's not too bad. But, of course, it's the last one we're doing, and as you see here, I'm kind of going back and forth with this bracket over here, and I'm not too sure why. Well, it's because I saw that there was a plug there and I was like, well, that's why it's not going in. So what happens? Well, all the work that was pretty much ready to go, we were almost done because Michael was ready to go for supper and stuff with his family. Yeah, no, let's take them all back out because, yeah, because we couldn't get the bolt through. Yep. And once I saw that and I was like, Michael, this, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. And it just like bad luck for us that we had to take everything out again and drop the slider and start from scratch but that's what happens when you're on a little bit of a time crunch and you got to get going <laughs> it sucks but whatever we got it out bolted them back on and it was all said and done and at the end of it all yeah i was filthier than a pigsty because of all the dirt and mud i still had underneath this truck because it went to FRCC uh, the other in July there, so taco was very muddy everywhere, and I pretty much wore half of it. <laughs> so make sure, you, like I said at the beginning, make sure your truck is clean as possible. So go for a nice wash out underneath the night before or something like that, and pressure wash your whole frame rails nice and thoroughly. Uh, take a garden hose at the end, or just take a garden hose in general at home and just rinse out everything so that you have no dirt anywhere and you know you won't look like me at the end of this but like i said just install it simple as can be and i hope this kind of gives you guys an idea of uh, how to install these uh beautiful heavy duty rock sliders from arc one industries